Welcome to this series where we are playing survival mode in No Man's Sky. In the last part, the focus is very much on doing the main mission and getting our warp drive installed, which we've now managed to do. We've even got a little bit of fuel. So I think it's time to move on from this system. But before that, we've got a couple of things that need to be done. Uh, the first thing is that we are currently stood in a drop pod I discovered while I was out and about. So I want to do this first and do this, get this done. And if I don't do it immediately, I'll probably forget. Um, I'm going to do that corner because it's going, boys, it's going to irritate me. So that gives us another suit upgrade. And I've been thinking about this and I think what I might do is put a lot more focus on looking for drop pods because it gives a reason to explore planets. I know you can buy the buy all the upgrades inside of the space station, but well, it's not not quite the thing that I was looking for. Now, before we go on and go to a new system, a couple of things I'd like to say a big thank you to Snafu, who pointed out that I was when I was commenting about the uh, the jav a blaze javelin. He said that I was probably not using it in the wrong right way because it is really a long range weapon. And if I can demonstrate that, if we can, you can see it's got quite a lot of range actually. And, and and of course I was using it more in for close in work. So I think the setup I've got now probably does work that we got the blaze javelin for range long range work. And what we've got is the photo, uh, not the photon cannon, the the ordinary uh, kind of bo a bolt caster pistol to for a bit close in work. While we're here, also I've uh, made some various bits and pieces so we can open up. Oh, I thought I'd so we can open up these slots. Let's make sure. Okay, we got that there, but we haven't got enough thematic stills and microprocessors. So we can start opening up this area here. Um, and also, before we move on, I did get a request in the comments, apologies, I can't remember who did it, who asked it about the glyphs for the location of the multi-tool, because this is a really nice looking S-Class. And the only way I've found that I can actually do this is by, if I come into Escape, Catalog, go to Wonders, and go to Personal Records, and what I've done is I've added the the planet to the, my personal records. And I don't know if you guys can see it. What I might do, I'll try and do is, is enlarge it. But what you see there, I've, put, I've marked this as good multi-tool. And it says um, portal address. Now, as far as I remember, it is the um, radioactive planet in this system that's got that uh, multi-tool inside of the pillow. Now, I don't know if that helps. So hopefully, if that's what you're looking for, that's where it is, guys. And and to be honest, I can't remember where the actual sentinel pillar actually is. So hopefully that is going to be useful. And what we're going to do now is just jump in the ship and we're going to um, launch into space, test the interstellar systems. I presume that all we've got to do is just walk to a new system. And away we go. So we're just going to get up into space. I must admit, I'll be glad to get through these basic uh, steps now. They are starting to irritate a little bit. In space, open the galaxy map, move the selected path, walk far. Of course, we won't, won't be able to walk very far. And so we're here. Yeah. It's kind of setting up. Hyperdrive has no fuel. Okay, I don't have enough fuel. That's a bit disappointing. Um, I don't know if I can make any more hyperdrive fuel. Uh, I suppose I should have filled it up completely. I don't know if I can make another one. Okay, we can make two of those. Okay, I've got 50%. Are you can let me go on 50%. Must admit, you, you tend to get in a little bit of a, a bad habit. Uh, that's a water planet. Um, of course, we've got absolutely no indication whatsoever of what's in it. Uh, I think we'll we'll go to the water planet. You never know what might happen. There we are. We've got only two planets in the system. 
Starship monitoring system reports error. Guidance system malfunction. Searching for other routes. Searching, searching. Obtained destination in 16, 16, 16, 1, 6, 16 at KLS. Accept new guidance. Accept, yep. Yeah. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. Fuel source source fuel source found. Okay, I am gonna get in here amongst here and see if we can get a little bit more tritium and stuff. Then we go in the space station and see what we can find. Right, the planet we got to go to is just over there. Give it a quick scan and see what the game's got prepared for us. All right, we've got a cactus planet. Now that could be useful because that should have, um, that's got pyrite on it, which we need for repairing the multi-tool. It also, we can work on, let's get into the space station. Of course, we need to come into here for a couple of reasons. One, we can upgrade our exosuit um, inventory. Uh, it should be still quite cheap. Uh, there's also the possibility of uh, uh, what we call it. How much money have I got? We've got two million. Yeah, we've got, we got the money for it. So we'll just get into here. Just pick this up. Oh, I suppose this one is a bit of a actually. Oh, this one's really cheap. <laughs> so we'll just tidy that up. Just want to look at something. Got microprocessors three. You can see here we need parathenium, phosphorus, ukrainium, uranium, and uh, we'll go in here and pick up a cut see if we can pick up a couple of microprocessors. Where are you? Hello. Let me grab that. But two of those get to eight thousand. I don't think I need any wiring looms just at the moment, but we can do that one. That means all we got to do is make four hematic seals. I'm not sure if I can make them at hematic seals. Let's just have a quick look. Uh, we need more condensed carbon. Uh, I doubt very much if we get the condensed carbon here. Uh, I don't think I've got anything to sell. I did pick up this Sentinel boundary map again. So we got an opportunity to take down another Sentinel pillar. <laughs> Actually, if I swap, because I did get a Storm Crystal. Uh, we could sell the Storm Crystal. And I still... Uh, I'm not sure about that. Got carbon. Got a couple of Bikine Daggers we can get rid of. And a Bikine Effigy. And we got a tiny bit of silver and gold. I uh, will hang on to those just for the moment. Uh, these guys are most likely going to be strange, small assaults, pheromone, miss, overseer remains. So this is an overseer. We don't we don't really want to over something the base of the overseer. Most of these in here often tend to be. Uh, characters that you can recruit to your base so we're not going to worry too much about them I mean learning language is a long term project anyway so uh, um, take that go back over to the other side see if this guy is so it looks like we're in a Bikin system warrior take barks acceptance off a trade We've got that there. We've got some chromatic metal, but I think I've still got a little bit, so I don't see the point of buying that. I don't. I, I'll be completely upfront. I, 
I, I'm, I never really liked the idea of just buying your way through this game because it it does detract from the, the reason you're actually playing, which is exploration. So I must admit, I do like going down on the planet and gathering the resources myself, except for resources that I do definitely need. So, I mean, that's always been tended... That's always tended to be my approach to the game is just learn learn the resources you know gather the resources um, and just have some fun exploring the, the game because I think I mean I know many people would say that No Man's Sky is a survival game but I must admit I've always kind of looked at it more as an exploration game rather than a survival game because yes you can get killed uh, in a in the game but I think the difference between No Man's uh, and No Man's Sky and say something like Imperium Imperium it, that you are definitely taking up getting into combat situations where you know that there's a very strong possibility that you will um, get attacked and possibly killed I think the difference with No Man's Sky is that like with my example when I was killed uh, was it two parts ago no Man's Sky gives you doesn't really set out to kill you, but it gives you plenty of opportunities to do it. If that makes sense. Yep. Thank you. Hello, guys. We've got a convention here. Uh, all want to talk to me. That's probably enough. Uh, travel symbol. Uh, let's get into here. I'm not going to find any condensed carbon, but who really cares? Uh, oh, we've got paraffinium now that is something I wouldn't mind buying, I get 400 paraffinium the reason I've bought, got the paraffinium is that I'm sure it was one of these, yep there we are I only needed 25 but never mind I'll probably use the paraffinium for something else so once we've got the py pyrite we'll clear another one of these and Repaired, repaired. Uranium could be useful if I find it. Uh, I mean, I've got some uranium, but I don't really want to use it. I think it's in the Starship. We've only got 114. And I'd rather keep the uranium for the moment. So, uh, hello guys. Just jump in the ship. I think the other thing we're going to need to do is, oops, journey miles accomplished. Blunt <laughs> ten words. Uh, I think one thing I will want to do is is definitely now start looking for uh, a ship. Actually, what is the other planet here? Might as well scan him while he's in range. That's just another frost planet. So we're going to go for something that's a little bit different. Going to a parched planet. So here we are. We're just coming down on that. This is approximate source. So we're going to head for here because that looks like a good candidate for what we got to find. So we'll land here. Um, jump out. Okay, first contact. Here we are. <laughs> okay, we're on a cold planet. Hello. Hello, Mr. Biggie. I use a small version of the other thing. Take the knowledge stones, if I can see them in the Merc. And we'll just talk to this guy. Part of the anomaly. This structure is unlike anything I've encountered on my journey so far. Everything about it is obviously alien, so obviously out of place. As I stare at it, words for that form themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it a traveller? Is it friend? It's the traveller. I'm a traveller. I feel strange responding to questions that I'm sure that I'm being asked. 
but something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I'm overwhelmed by a sense of something has awoken, of someone is with it was watching me. In it forms another question. Is it the first? Is it last? Um It's the first, because it is the first. I do not know how I'm spoken to. The monolith is ancient and I cannot escape the feeling that it's asked these questions many times over. It asks again. Have you seen the crimson eye? Has the crimson eye seen them? Uh, it has. It, uh, it had. I well, we have seen the crimson eye because it looked at us uh, when we clicked one of those um, parameters. Likelihood of the anomaly exceeds safety parameters. Breach detected. Alert! Alert! The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us, traveller. Right, we've got one warp cell. That's very generous of you. Um. Right, we've got a whole load of creatures here. Hello, guys. I think they like me. <laughs> Where's my ship gone? There it is, just down there. Right, hey. Got loads and loads of dinos wandering around there. Wait, get out of the way. Uh, scan the birds. One thing I didn't do in the last system, let's just get back in the ship while I talk, is I didn't actually... Let's go back. Now, we didn't actually kind of uh, complete any of these the planets. Let me just go back to here. I think what we can do is just do an upload all. Oh, no, that gives me 336. Well, as far as I know, that just uploads everything here. Oh, wow. Okay. Hold to complete. We missed that one. Uh, haha. Uh, got three out of no, six there. So we, we did get all the creatures on one planet. That, not that one as well. Oh, well. Oh, that's increased our nanite total a little bit. <laughs> Milestone accomplished. I'm now a naturalist. I've discovered all the species on one planet. Normally, the quickest way to do that is to find these exotic planets with only a single. Oh, wow. Wait. Get out of the way. I mean, the easiest way to complete that those milestones is to go to a, a planet that's got exotic creatures. There's only one creature per planet. Uh, got armored clam down there. Cobalt deposit. I'm looking for pyrite. We've got very technology module over there, 226, but unknown building 568 in that direction. I think I would like to get out of the mountains, actually. Uh, um, navigating mountains without um, jetpack boosts can be a bit of a problem. We can, we will. That, that guy and uh, just kill him as well anything else that we can scan around here definitely would like to find some pyrite uh, we can't probably use behind the mountains so Right, we're going to need to get back in the ship. Uh, make your way out into space. I suppose I could do that so that we can just move the mission on and see what goes on because there's a chance they may send us back to the planet, so... Okay, explore nearby planets and search for in a new system. Access the log with a browser Okay, across the galaxy. Well, that didn't tell us a lot, is it? Okay, we're just going to go back down on the planet. I certainly want the pyrite. Right, let's just come back down on the planet. And I so say I want the pyrite so that we can fix the multi-tool. And it would be nice to actually uh, find another pillar or a base. I want to keep the, this. Uh, where is it? I want to keep this for when we get to. We have to land on a planet that's full of hostile sentinels. 
because then we can whack the the sentinel pillar and uh well oh okay we just found another drop pod <laughs> I don't know if I've got enough to do the necessary um, carbon nanotube. The challenge is going to be the antimatter. Uh, now we've got the antimatter nanotube. Okay. Go there. Grab you and we're just filling that one there. On the blaze glow. Oh, we've got an unknown building up there. Um, have a look round and see what we can find. We can go underwater and look there. So I'm looking for pyrite. Yeah, it says pyrite deposit 289 in that direction. So we'll go off looking, get some pyrite. Um, oh, great. Keep scanning the plants. And that. Whoops. I think the game's just decided that it's getting daylight. Yep. Yeah, it's just warmed up a bit. So, what happened to the my marker? Um, oops. There's the pyrite deposit is over there. Just dig this out. Very, very quickly. Don't mind that guy. Oops, no. Identify him first. Certainly get the condensed carbon as well. Soon we're here, we'll go for a the water, the water doesn't look that deep, but we may. Okay, <laughs> so we found the deepest ocean. Right. Get the fish. Any more in here? We're looking good. Right, so we've got to get out in the water. Uh, multi tool. Where is it? There, there's the pyrite. We can repair that. It clears another slot. creatures over the top there it's probably the birds yeah it's always the birds um so it might be two lots here no there's only one lot looks like there's something at the top of the hill there um yeah pick that formation up as well I'm quite intrigued by that 
I must admit, these guys are really impressive. <laughs> Hello. Now we got to get up the mountain. And we got to go up another mountain. We better put, put some oxygen in our life support. Uh, I think we'll just use a bit of dioxide. I'm uh, right, just going to make a little bit of space. Uh, we don't need the paraffinium just at the moment, but we'll keep it because paraffinium is one of those awkward things where we uh, probably don't need that. Well, put the copper in the ship as well. Uh, sodium nitrate go there. That can go to the ship as well. Um, yep. Yeah, I think we're put the pyrite down there. Put that in the starship. How's the multi-tool charge? Right, we're going to go and try and find out what's at the top of this hill. Because uh, it is telling us that there's something up here of interest. Um, we're going to if we can get up the mountain side. Come, you can do it. Well, you did tell me that there's something up here. Uh, oh, it's over there. That looks a bit like uh, another hollow, hollow terminal thingy. I've just been zapped. Okay, I can do that. I can play that game. Whoops. That's the downside of um, the Blaze Javelin. It's a little bit OP. And if you hit something, you certainly have an impact. Right, let's just go up and check out what we've got up here. Hello. Hello, guys. Yeah, this is a hollow terminal. We're, we'll be running around hollow terminals in a little while. We can certainly get that out. We got ourselves some damaged machinery here. Don't need residual gloop. Some nanites. Take the research specimen and the nanites. That improves our standing. There's another creature there. Uh, we've got a cave. How, how, how much am I off for iron batteries? Um, can we make more iron batteries? No. Nope. We've got 13 at the moment. I wouldn't mind a few more. I think what I will do is bring the ship up. I think we've got the navigation data for that. Um, we're just going to go in the cave and actually how many I've got 7 out of 11 at the moment ok we're looking good uh, we're going to just disappear into the cave for a little while You're not my favourite thing. There's some vortex cubes down there. Of course, you've got to remember to... Right, we're just going to get into the cave. Um, we'll pick up some vortex cubes. Not a vast amount of money, but uh, they, they make a little bit.
grab these. Right, we've got cave map. There's nothing, not seeing anything else in here. Let's just make a. How many iron batteries can we make? About five of them. Gives me 18 iron batteries. That's enough to be going on with. Um, yeah, it's ferrite dust we've run out of now. Um, we've got 54 cobalt. Let's put that down the bottom there. Yeah, so we're, we're low on ferrite dust. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Uh, let's get out of here. Anything else up there? Up through here. Um, got you. Snake the carbon. Yes, I know. You're checking up on me. Anything in here? Nope. Search a new planet. So we've got to go and search a new planet. So it's basically telling us to go out and search. Well, what I will do now is... I mean, this planet isn't exactly level, but it's got potential... Got an unknown building there. We've got a copper deposit. 524. How much fuel have we got in the ship? 40%. Uh, we're going to use the uranium. We're probably going to need to top the uranium up because I didn't got that much. Uh, that's an ancient plaque over there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother. I mean, how close are we from... We've got 7 out of 11... I would, I would like to, if possible, let's have a look actually uh, what we got left to discover. We got one flying, uh, we got one under, um, we got, got a rare underground one. I, there's part of me that would like to spend time hunting down here, but. I, I, at the same time, part of me says, let's just move on with the main mission. I think we're we'll going to discover another planet, and maybe I'll, we'll come back to this here, because there's only two planets in this system. And we do need to make some warp fuel. Let me just put that in. Uh, that gives me 47%. Uh, what do we need for... Yeah, I need ferrite dust, but we've got uh, we've got rusted metal, so we can get up there. Right, we've only got another planet in the system, so which is in the direction of the space station. Right, we've got to go there. Incoming frequency. Incoming transmission, source unknown. You are not uh, alone. Please identify yourself. I'm Kuzus, identify myself. Uh, yeah, you left me, because why did you? Because tell them you don't understand. Of course you say that, of course you. Just like the others. Ask um, ask who the you are speaking to. There is no reply. The communicator falls silent through the channel. It remains open. Okay. It's telling me to feed creatures now. Oh well, it's it says strangers coordinates. Well, we've got to go there anyway, so we might as well push off. We're going to be back on another frost planet, which seems to be the standard. It says travel to strangers coordinates. Coordinates data partially corrupted. I must admit, of all the planets in the game for general exploration i must admit i do like the cold planets there's something about them that just makes exploration a little bit more friendly i think the the my least favorite planets excluding extreme planets which can be a real pain in the neck anyway is um radioactive planets 
I've, I've never... But even paradise planets where there's no, like, environmental risk or anything like that, I find can be a little bit annoying because of the grass. So, we've got to go here. Just flattened a load of trees. Still put. Okay, it says we've got 203. We've got a nice big pile of oxygen here. Yeah, thank you, game. Oxygen rich plants. This is too good to pass up. It saves a lot of oxygen collection. And in fact, it's probably a bit too much, but. Uh, We've got 244 oxygen. Uh, damage machinery. We'll take that. Uh, take that. I think before we... Put some sodium over there. I think... Oh, it's, it's this annoying scanner thingy. Uh, right, we're going to go... This is 171 in that direction. Well... Uh, get, certainly take the condensed carbon from the top. Well, go to the stranger's coordinates. It's probably going to be a grave or something. It says it's in that direction. Haha. <laughs> okay, well. Kill this thing. Um, level protection. Wow. We got a crash ship. Okay. Chromatic metal. <laughs> um you gotta be kidding me. I've got chromatic metal. I thought I had chromatic metal with me. I should have bought some to I've got copper, but it's actually in my ship. Okay. Nothing found. Right, I'm just going to summon in the ship. Uh, we'll use up some fuel. some condensed carbon in where's the copper there's the copper oh while, while things are going we'll just get rid of you well oh we've got an upgrade for our bolt caster we'll certainly install that uh wow it's a nice one as well uh, you up we will refine the rusted metal. I'll rat it. Go back to you. Uh, unknown signal. There are no signs of life. There's only the static of broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name. Artemis, good old Artemis. However, they, they were, they are long gone. The only uh, other uncorrupted data is plans to upgrade for my mining beam. Got a pulse splitter. I think actually, I think um, Snafu said that he also likes the pulse splitter as a 
a, a, a close in weapon um, we could consider putting the pulse splitter on um, we need detronium so we'd have to get detronium we could possibly buy that uh, right we're on a cold planet um, I wouldn't mind getting some hematic seals um, can we make the hematic seals now yep do that get rid of that yeah we maybe we can consider putting in a pole splitter um chop that in there not enough fuel, fuel. yeah wow okay <laughs> Right, I think we can now kind of get round and take a look at some scanning and stuff like that. Um, so I keep making some money. Um, can't get you. Scan the trees. Bump, oh, you're outside the rock. Uh, uh. Oh, you can do it. Oh, he's got an impressive... What would you call him? A unicorn? A great big impressive spike stuck out the front of his nose. There's a better... Pop up the oxygen. We do. We need somewhere to find... To sell the... Uh, the vortex cubes. Uh, didn't really loop down everything else here, so we're, um, well, some oxygen. Right, we've got 150 ferrite dust. Uh, up. Anything else around here that we may need that could be useful? Uh, we've got cobalt deposit very technology I mean it'd be nice if we could find a building to work towards um, not really seeing anything we've got dioxide there oh uh, I think we can certainly go for the dioxide uh, because then that's a replacement for the oxygen uh, we got a little bit of sodium nitrate, so. Right, we're going to go and get that dioxide. Um, a little bit of dihydrogen as well. I can see you. Oops, just woken up the Sentinel. He won't mind. There we are. Whoops. Blown up a few trees as well. Uh, There's not that much here, but it'd be enough to be going on with. Uh, that's, that's about it. Um, got very technology module cobalt deposit uh, on this another word world it says search for a clue to um, Artemis right we'll just get back here Was the one thing we haven't checked out is the actual crash ship. It's a scout. We'll take a look at it. B class, not bad. Um, we could fit. We could. This is definitely a fixer upper. Uh, we can certainly. Okay, we're going to compare. We're going to claim the ship. Um, 
can set, certainly want to. Okay, we got. Right, we're going to need chromatic metal, pure ferrite. The shields will be a bit of a pain in there. Okay. Ah, let me just get back into you for the moment. Right, just going to let this build back up. And I think we're going to repair this ship. Maybe we can move to it if we can get it repaired. Because it's going to be slightly better than the one we got. Although we have put all our fuel in here as well, which is a little bit of a downside. <laughs> Um, what I could do is use up some of the fuel here. We could transfer that, that, um, right, actually, tab open, put that in the suits, uh, cobalt, put that in there, sodium, uh, we got magnetized ferrite, might need that. Got pure ferrite. Okay. Uh, we'll put that in the starship for the moment. Put the pure ferrite in there. Right. Um, we need a hermetic seal. Repair you. Right, we need microprocessors for that. We can repair the shield. That stops that annoying noise. Chlorine, platinum, pure ferrite. Right, we've got sodium, need sodium nitrate, sodium chromatic metal. Um, paraffinium. <laughs> I knew I, I wanted it for some reason. Right, so we got the ship kind of repaired and we got rid of that annoying noise. Uh, so I really need to patch it up a little bit first before we can use it. But we've got something we can work with, which is good. Um, chromatic metal. Activated copper, we can do wiring looms. Um, shield 100%. Microprocessors, so we're going to need a big pile of copper. I mean, we could go to the space station and buy the stuff, but there's something satisfying about repairing things yourself. So we... Uh, well, we've got the magnetized ferrite, so we can get that in there as well. What is around here that can help us with the repairs? Is there any copper around here? Or buried cash over there. I think we'll go for the buried cash. Uh, um, I mean, I'd like to repair as much as possible close in. Especially as the fact that I'm running out of time on this video, so... Uh, uh, I've lost the buried cache. Where are you? You told me... Over, oh, there it is over there. I was about to say, the game is misleading me. And you... Oops. I've done it again. Keep on doing it. Right, we'll grab the pure fair right. Um, scan you uh, we've got loads of ferrite dust but yeah you're okay take the pure ferrite from there um, a whole load of oxygen don't need any more oxygen Uh, certainly go after the very cash. Got you. Yep. Yeah. There's another one just behind that I haven't got though. Hey. 
You're there somewhere. I can see you. He was here just now. Oh, didn't get the sodium guy anyway. There was also uh, some other loot just in this area. There it is. Wow. <laughs> A little bit close for comfort. Oh, we've already done this. This is it. That's just for hitting me. Um, just looking round. Dark sight, cobalts, dark sights, dark sight, cobalts. Right, I think we need to change location because my inventory is absolutely packed solid now. We've got multi tool expansion slot. <laughs> I think what I will do is um, scan the rock. Greatest specific gravity. Right, let me just jump in this ship. Uh, anything else we can repair? No. Because I haven't really collected anything yet. Yeah, we... <sighs> Sodium, chromatic metal... What on earth was that? Not exactly sure what happened there. Um... Come into there. Um, I'm going to put... Right, let's just have a bit of a sort out. That can go to the starship. I've got a big pile of paraffinium. Um, put the excess oxygen in there. Probably don't need that. Um, I think we can use that paraffinium up. Right, let's just... Oops. I'm sure you had a requirement for some paraffinium. Oh, well, we can get clear that slot. Um, get that out of the way. I know it's not particularly that useful. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. Platinum. Right, uh, I think I can uh, use up the paraffinium. We could kill a sentinel and get some pugnium. Uh, wow, well, we've got enough for uh, two shots of paraffinium. So all we need is a little bit of pugnium to kill a sent killing a sentinel. Don't have enough paraffinium now. Um, pure ferrite, ninety-four hour. Um. I mean, this is a fairly passive planet. Um, I'm kind of a bit tempted. Um, uh, right, let's see if we can draw in a... Uh, what we call it. This is this would be an ideal planet, but <laughs> okay, there's another creature up there. Well, right. Uh, right, we found four out of six. Is that all the creatures that are on this planet? Okay, so what we got left? Uh, we've got one underground, always active. Um, there's a cave over there. We'll just see if we can. I think that's a cave. It looks a bit like a cave. Uh, let's see if we can flush out the guys 
here. Let's go. No, I don't think this is. Is this really a cave? No. No. Okay. Well, I think this is more of a just a dent in the ground, isn't it? Got you. Let's pick up the condensed carbon. Um. Okay guys, um, I'm aware that I'm running out of time on this video and I've got a little bit of grind to do which I'm going to do off camera because what I need to do is deploy this, come in here, put some there, oops, <laughs> um, wrong one, but oh no, we can get that in there start creating some pyrite ferrite because if I show you here we we're gonna need where is it magnetized ferrite to clear these this one um, so we could probably need a pile of magnetized ferrite which we could possibly do but we need lots of magnetized ferrite so we're going to go kind of industrial we also got some pure um, some pure ferrite here which needs to go. So we're really going to need to get going on a kind of industrial scale. So, and I'll probably, what I'm going to do is try and do that off camera because obviously it's not exactly um, that exciting. This is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it interesting. And until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.